Welcome to Heat Check. We're going to look at the top 10 highest selling vintage denim items over the last two weeks on eBay. This video is sponsored by WeBuyOldJeans.com. All right, coming in at number 10 this week with this 1940s unbranded buckle backs uh, denim 30 by 30. Let's take a look at this. Unbranded is interesting. Um, uh, obviously has some wear, has some repairs. It looks pretty cool. Uh, there's one of the repairs. Super cool. Uh, here are the jeans. We've got some like donut button jeans. All right, uh, buttons, excuse me. Let's take a look here. It says Lang on the uh, button here. I'm unfamiliar, but I think Lang is was a denim company around this time. I could be wrong. Uh, something stirs the memory. Uh, we got a selvage watch pocket here. Obviously some bleach or something here on the back. Super kind of cool. Uh, look at fades here. Uh, there is a patch on the back apparently. Let's take a look and see if they show us that patch. I don't know if they do. Where is that patch? There we go. Right here. I cannot tell exactly what this says. Let's see if they, I think they say something down here about it. It says sturdy wear. Yeah, sturdy wear. So could it be Lang sturdy wear? Somebody with a little bit more information let me know. Because it looks familiar and it feels like I'm missing something here. But look here in the left corner, you can see it says lot. Uh, and then lot and size, definitely duplicating a little bit of a uh, Levi's uh, format here. But sturdy wear. Uh, Lang sturdy wear. Is that ringing anyone's bell? Let us know in the comments below. Either way, this one was pretty cool. Cool little finds here out of uh, Washington State. Uh, this sold after 23 bids for $1,150. This is about to get a little bit out of control. Carhartt Detroit jackets are just getting otherworldly, crazy, out of control. We have the Crimson or the Carhartt Detroit Crimson Red uh, duck canvas jacket. This is the Detroit. It uh, looks like it even has a broken zipper, uh, which is crazy. Yeah, here's the broken zipper. This is only from 2001. Unbelievable. Broken zipper and everything. Uh, crackled patches is barely vintage. After 32 bids, this one sold for $1,194. Uh, you might say, oh, I didn't get paid. Well, according to the, all the data, it got paid for. And so that's pretty crazy, but that's not even the craziest thing. The craziest thing is that this was not the most expensive of these jackets sold this week. This one right here. We have sold the Vintage Carhartt Detroit jacket, same jacket basically. Uh, they are not a, the exact same, I did double check that. Um, unbelievable, it's really good condition. These are really clean. Obviously the color is rare, um, you know, et cetera, et cetera, I understand that. Um, but this one has a non-broken zipper. Um, so uh, it's even better condition. Uh, this one sold for $1,200. So it feels uh, like maybe you could have gotten, you know, you couldn't got got a, a better deal since you had the the zip only zipper that worked. I don't know, crazy crazy times. I mean, this is like I don't know, this is crazy. Uh, these red ones are just going for nuts, nuts of money. I don't necessarily know that that. I mean, I know I've sold Detroit jackets for years in the few hundred dollar range, depending on their condition. But uh, this is certainly feels like peak mania to some degree. Anyway, congratulations, buyers, sellers, whoever's involved in this transaction because uh, it was a big one. Next up, we have the 1960s Lee 91B gel denim jacket dead stock, apparently. Uh, these are one of my favorite jackets. Take a look at this crispy boy here. The denim looks great. There is that beautiful condition in interior label. The Lee denim right here. Uh, the label. I love this, 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 this uh, you know, cockeyed zipper right here. This thing looks dope. Diagonal zipper, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, these are some of my favorite uh, jackets. This one's kind of small, so in size 36. Actually, it's not. It's actually very small. Um, but the condition is exceptional. It looks like, let's take a look here. Is this an actual, do they show us the actual tag? I don't think they do. Obviously, the condition is pretty amazing. I'm not sure if this tag, where do they keep showing that tag? I'm not sure this tag is the original tag right here. Looks like it's a modern tag, maybe from a thrift store or something. But what a beautiful jacket. Again, one of my favorite jackets are these Lee jackets. 
Uh, this one sold for after 12 bids, 1,259.56. Beautiful Lee jacket here. So if you think you have a pair of jeans that might end up on this list, we recommend you check out webuyoldjeans.com. These guys are the best in the business. They can give you appraisals, they can help you with the research, or they can make an offer on your jeans. They offer reasonable prices and great customer service. So we highly recommend our friends over at webuyoldjeans.com. Next up, we have the 1940s JCPenney Super Ox Hide Four Pocket. Look at this one right here. This one looks like it's in good condition too. Pretty exceptional. Uh, there's that Super ox, uh, ox Hide label. Yeah, this thing looks beautiful. Somewhere, obviously, but nothing super crazy. Um, yeah, the Four Pockets there. This is probably post-war is my guess. Um, or pre-war. Uh, somewhere around there, but anyway, beautiful jacket, um, cor uh, chor uh, chore coat. Let's take a look. They give us any other information about uh, no. the chest is uh, 46, so uh, not too bad. A decent size here too. So excellent sale here. This one sold for 13.75, just what they asked for. Next up is a Type Two, but a Type Two we don't see very often. Here we have the blanket lined Type Two. Uh, this one, it's got some oil stains, it looks like, or some crazy pit stains. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> let's see what the size is, because size is always a big determiner of value on these jackets. Uh, I mean, generally speaking, it looks like the condition is, in, is good. Like, there's not a lot of holes, but clearly some some stains. We have a 42, basically, a, a 21 across the chest, so not too bad. 40, 42, uh, just about. So not bad. Looks like the pleats are really intact, so... Really good condition outside of these stains, which are unfortunate, obviously. You could try to wash it, but I wouldn't. So that would be my, I would advise against ever washing one of these guys. Um, unless, you know, you know exa exactly what you're doing. You don't use water or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, beautiful jacket. Uh, this one sold a bit on the low side, uh, surprisingly. You know, type 2s tend to, you know, this 507s tend to do really, really well. Um, but this one was a little bit... Uh, on the low side 20 bids only got us to 1635 um <clears throat> the stains obviously a big deal the size is a decent size and the blanket line is kind of like uh yeah, there's not as many people that are interested in having the blanket line as having without the blanket line because it allows you to wear it in the summer or the warmer season so either way it's a beautiful jacket Then we have a nine. Then we have a 1950s Levi's jeans denim banner store display. We see these from time to time, uh, and this one never gets old, in my opinion. This one looks like it's beautiful. There is some creasing and some like probably some cracking on the on the image, but nothing that you don't expect to see from something this old and this rare. Um, it's obvious you can see where it's been folded. That's just the crease marks. You're not going to get away with that. Uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, we've seen these many times, and they sell for a pretty good, pretty penny almost every time. Uh, this one is no exception. This one sold for twenty-six fifty. All right, then we have another type two. This is just sort of the uh, a good example of the difference in value here. Uh, this is a beautiful jacket. Uh, great deep blues left in this one for sure. I mean, the pleats look like they're intact. They haven't been adjusted. Um, everything about it screams this is a solid grade A type 2. Um, let's take a look at the measurements here. Same measurements as before. This one had a lot more action with 54 bids. It's crazy. Uh, and it eventually sold for $3,621. All right, and back-to-back -back type twos here. We have a, another beautiful one with lots of color uh, left in this one. It almost has a sort of a dead stock feeling, like it's never been washed, obviously. Uh, patch has been removed, and there probably it looks like there is somewhere to it. Um, maybe it's been washed. I don't know. That's interesting. That fraying sort of show, suggests to me that maybe it's been washed. But either way, it's in exceptionally good condition for its age. There's only very minor uh, issues. Now, this is one of probably in the top 10% of Type 2s that we see. There's that 17 stamped on the on the buttons. Um, this one's beautiful. 
again, it's nothing that we haven't really seen before. Um, we definitely have seen a few of these over the years. This one is, let's see, chest size is a 38. So it's on the smaller side. This is a pretty typical size for uh, one of these, though. Uh, but still did just fine. It beat out the previous one. This one sold for $3,800. All right, coming in at number one is a Type 1. Uh, this one we see a lot, but this one is actually kind of unique. Uh, so we'll show you that in just a second here. Um, but from the outside or from the outset, it looks like a normal Type 1 that we see go for lots of money. Obviously, some really good color. Uh, pleats look intact. It does not have a top pocket flap, so obviously this is going to be a bit older. An otherwise beautiful condition piece here. Uh, very old Type 1. Let's take a look at this button. Beautiful buttons here. Um, keep moving along, and here you'll see exactly the difference here. Here we have the uh, cinch back, buckle back here on the back, and we have a design. If you, if I follow you home, will you keep me? I have no idea. I'm gonna guess this is not a period design from you know the era from the, this jacket is from. This was added on significantly later, uh, but. Obviously, this did not detract too much from the value. Uh, had it not been on there, this would have actually probably gone for more, uh, in my opinion. Being an older example of the Type 1 506. Uh, but either way, it was on there. And uh, outside of that, everything looks really clean um, in terms of condition. So, um, bummer that it's on there. Probably not going to get it off. But either way, after 12 bids, this one sold for $4,400 for the number one spot on this week's heat check.